it's estimated that at least 60% of people living in the Northern Hemisphere, including Britain of course, are deficient in vitamin D. And this even includes people doing outside jobs and pursuits, even top athletes in peak fitness who spend a large proportion of their daily lives outdoors have actually been found to be deficient in vitamin D. So why is this? Well, basically, we don't get enough sun. The best source of vitamin D is from natural sunlight, or more specifically, the UVB rays, those that can burn with too much exposure on our skins. In fact, it may surprise you to know that vitamin D isn't actually a vitamin at all. It's a steroid hormone created when your skin, your very own vitamin D factory, that's your skin, is exposed to sunshine and a reaction occurs with cholesterol in your skin and the sun's UVB rays to produce what we call vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin. UVB rays only enter the atmosphere when the sun is above 35 degrees in the sky. So to optimize the effects, the skin should be exposed during that time when the sun is at its highest point, ideally during the middle of the day. Now you can only get vitamin D from the UVB rays at this time, and even in the sunniest of climates. Out of summer in the UK, you simply cannot get vitamin D from the sun as it is always too low in the sky. But during midday on hot summer days, it's important to remember we're talking about getting a safe level of exposure, not too much, because depending on your skin type, you may burn very easily and this can cause other, compl other complications such as skin cancers. Most face skin people will effectively produce the required amount of vitamin D in just 10, 15, 20 minutes or even less. This varies depending on how sensitive your skin is. The skin will just start to turn a very light shade of pink. No more is required and no more vitamin D will be created. For those with darker skins, African, Asian people, they may need around 20% more exposure to the sun to obtain the same quota of vitamin D. The only real diet sources of this vitamin are oily fish and, and fish oils. And you would need to eat far more than is normal in the typical Western diet. So supplementing this vitamin is certainly a good idea if you tick any of these boxes. If you live in Britain or any country far from the equator with limited sunshine months and not getting out into the sunshine when it's high in the sky and exposing enough skin to benefit. Having dark skin, another factor. Aged over 60, another. And if you always wear high factor sunscreen. 